Welcome everyone to the Warriors Geekin' News for this February 14th, 2014. Yes, on Valentine's Day I'm doing a Warriors Geekin' News, unlike everyone else who's gone out with this sniffing on. Now, happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there, and I do hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day, whether you be single or whether you're on a significant other. Otherwise, sit back, sit down, and in today's Warriors Geekin' News, we're going to be covering three stories. We're going to be covering if, if, Fatal Fantasy of course, 15 newest information, or at least in a trailer at least, Arkham Origins may never get patched, and also some Kingdom Come Deliverance. But before we start now, I want to let you all know that on GOG.com, you can get hold of the original Dungeon Keeper for absolutely free. It's a free game, go get it right now. I've actually just got it right now, and I'm going to play it probably later this week. Right, record it. No, I'm not getting paid for that, by the way. I just actually think Dungeon Keeper's a pretty cool game. I do remember playing a lot about it in the past. I want to see if I still get this. But let's now move on to the first story of the geeky news. Let's see, right, so the first story is Final Fantasy 15. Okay, Final Fantasy 15. Okay. Three, two. Final Fantasy 15 actually looks fucking awesome! I'm not shitting you here. I'm not a big Final Fantasy fan, but I... Okay, let me say this right now. I'm not the biggest Final Fantasy fan. I've, I've critiqued a few Final Fantasy games, mostly notably Final Fantasy XIII 2, which if you go back in my video archive, you know that I fucking hate that game. I absolutely hate it. I hate the story. I hate the characters. I hate the combat. I hate pretty much fucking everything, and even the music kind of sucked. But... Final Fantasy XV was announced at E3 last year, and I've been keeping a wee eye on it. Because the game actually looks fucking brilliant. It looks not only visually stunning, but much more interesting than any other Final Fantasy game I've ever played. Now, I know that I've only played Final Fantasy 8, 10, 10, 2, and 13, 2. I hated them all, just for the story aspect alone. I am playing through Final Fantasy 7, but I actually stopped playing it a while ago. I haven't gone back to it. But I have been getting a lot into JRPGs of late, especially with Fire Emblem, and of course, my recent acquisition. Brave by default, which I'm absolutely fucking loving. So I'm getting a bit of a JRPG binge right now, and I'm much really rather anticipating Final Fantasy XV because of the way it looks. It looks like it's much more action orientated in the style of Kingdom Hearts compared to actually, um, actually the the look of uh, then Kingdom Hearts than the previous Tom based Final Fantasy. And the quote from the person of the article that I'm getting this from is from the is from Swearing themselves. And they're saying that the game is very much near completion and is not actually going to be competing with Kingdom Hearts, which probably means they're not going to come out around about the same time. They're probably going to be a few months apart. The Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15, I must admit, I am really looking forward to them. And especially from the new trailer from Final Fantasy 15, which is, I very much get a Godfather feel from it. And I'm going to be honest, I don't like the Godfather. I, I honestly don't like that film. And I'm not, I don't hate that, I just don't like it. My opinions differ. Um, but this looks like it's very mob focused. It definitely looks like it's a mob family, a, a kind of a gangster Final Fantasy game. And it's rather interesting to do something like that in a Final Fantasy game. Normally they're very high fantasy and all that, and use advanced technology, but they've never really gone into the crime syndicate kind of thing, so it could be rather interesting. And the new trailer looks absolutely fucking phenomenal in my opinion, and a very beautiful looking trailer. I highly recommend you go to the link in the description to watch the trailer. Now it is only in Japanese, so unless you speak Japanese, or can read lips, I don't know how that would work. Uh, you're not going to understand that. There are some subtitles, but not a lot. I believe there are subtitles in all the versions, but the version I got in the link description doesn't have subtitles. But the game looks phenomenal, and I definitely will probably pick it up. It looks interesting. I don't want to say I'm going to pick it up. I actually want to say I might pick it up. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Final Fantasy XV, could it be the salvation of the Final Fantasy franchise? Or could it just be another massive disappointment like the previous installments? We'll have to wait and see, but Square Enix, you're on your last legs by the looks of it. Can't wait. Kingdom Come Deliverance. If you haven't heard that tale, then you're all under a fucking rock. This was a game that was kickstarted quite recently, and I heard about it via one of my, my subscribers who'd say you should check this out, the game looks phenomenal. And a couple of YouTubers I follow, such as Gopher and Toe Biscuit, and one or two others have mentioned it. Uh, Gopher even doing a short video on it. Now, I was originally intending on doing a video on it, however, I just thought that really everyone's saying everything about it, there's no point, I don't jump on bandwagons. All the information's out there, you go check it out. But the thing that I'm going to say here is the 
the latest development diary. It is a development diary completely and utterly focused on the combat of the game. Now, if you haven't heard of Kingdom Come Deliverance, it's basically a medieval RPG. No fantasy, no magic, purely medieval. Not only having branching stories, but different actual events that happen each time you play it as the character that you are playing. Now this game has piqued my interest because I, I kind of want to play this game. It is also very hyper realistic. They are trying to make this game as realistic as they possibly can to the point in which they've put like cameras on if professional sword fighters and bow and arrow and archers and different medieval weapon users on the face so they can get footage to see how that would look and it shows it in the development diary and they're trying to get realistic swings and everything done in it and it's very fascinating to see what the fact they're going to be doing with it i really would like to play this game in all honesty because it does look really good now i didn't kickstart it because i can't afford to back kickstarters the way i want to if, but i will let you know about it and the kickstarter is funded the game is coming out i don't think it has a release date as of yet but the game looks like i believe the studio was wild horse studios and they look, they, they, they have a lot of good members in the team on it by this, by lots of them from the website. But go to the link in the description, will give you much more detail and watch the video. You will see how much dedication they're putting into it. And the game, from what it looks like so far, looks absolutely gorgeous. This game is very late into development by the looks of it. And <clears throat> really is very close to finishing by the looks of it. And I cannot wait to play it. A lot of people are saying that this is the Sky, this looks so much better than Skyrim. Some people are saying it's, it's kind of like Skyrim. I'm not going to say it's anything like Skyrim. While it may have medieval features such as Skyrim, I'm going to judge it as itself and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Especially PC version because mods. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I am interested to see that, as I said, a lot of people are saying that this is going to be the Skyrim killer because Skyrim is one of the most popular Elder Scrolls games out there. And Kingdom Come Deliverance, a lot of people are saying this is the game that's going to kill it. And it might be good. It won't kill the Elder Scrolls series. It'll surpass Skyrim, in my opinion, by the looks of it. Now, I, just, I will not get my hopes up. I will not say anything set in stone. But I really would like to play this game. And I really would like to see what it can actually do. Especially from what I really want to see the story aspect of it. How good is the story? Now, they mentioned branching stories character interaction quests that you can do or not do and supposedly the game will uh, 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 interpret how you do it and very interesting to see and i don't know too much about the character development character creation i think it's primarily one main character which would be okay i'm not going to piss and moan about that but i hope they do introduce some kind of character creation system but otherwise kingdom come deliverance looks absolutely fantastic and i can't wait to get my fucking hands on it and neither can you in my opinion if you haven't checked it out already already go and check it out now okay because guess what as soon as i get my hands on it i'm gonna be busting out the massive claymore and i'm gonna be cleaving some heads off oh yeah time to cleave Kind of ironic that I'm wearing this t-shirt. You notice I'm not being kind of, I'm not being funny here. I'm not trying to make jokes. I'm going to be kind of serious here. If you haven't heard this news, yeah, this is going to piss you off. The developers of Arkham Origins, Warner Brothers Montreal, who by the way I already have a bit of hate with after they put a cop, put a copyright match, a match third party content on part of my playthrough of Batman Arkham Origins and then refused to remove it. So you can tell them a lot about it. I don't trust them particularly. <sighs> the creators of the game, I might actually have the art copy. I'm going to quote them actually. Because I think it's probably best if I do. Have announced that they will not be patching Arkham Origins at... Uh, patching Arkham Origins any more. And let me read this quote. <clears throat> If we do move forward with creating a new patch that will try to address the progress blocking bugs for people, not the minor glitches, that did not prevent one from completing the game, continuing the game, continuing to play, the issue that that are not progressing blocking will unfortunately no longer be addressed. We apologize for any inconvenience. Everyone needs a target us. Let me just say right now, they have decided to not patch their game that had game-breaking bugs. 
Now, I got lucky with my copy of Arkham Origins on Xbox. I didn't. I came across some minor bugs and a couple of lockups, but I never came across game-breaking bugs. And some of the game-breaking bugs come across as game save corruptors. They corrupt the game save that you have, or it just disappears. These developers have decided to be twats, be better lack of a word. And decided to instead of patching this game, which is already buggy as shit, I'll tell you right now from what I've seen, to concentrate on DLC. Now I'm okay with developers making DLC, I'm fine with DLC. But not patching your game that obviously has game breaking bugs is not only insulting to the gamer, it is actually in some people's way kind of illegal. Now I don't know for a fact, I don't know the legal jargon off by heart, but I do know a little bit about, custom, about these certain acts that I've studied at university, and I do believe there is an act that says if your product is not fit for purchase, and is not a finished product, which by the way, by from what I've seen, are certain some people's version of Arkham Origins might not actually be, technically speaking, you can sue, from what I can gather. I've learned to be a wee bit, so I don't want to say it for certain, I don't know how legal jargon, but technically speaking, if their product is broke, and they sold it to you, that's technically illegal in the UK from what I can gather. <clears throat> I'm sure there's some way, some loophole that they can go through that will stop you from suing them, but I've looked it up. Apparently there's some people that have, uh, you can. I'm not saying for sure, don't go suing, okay? I'm just saying that I know that I, from what my, my memory of uh, the act, I can't remember what it is, uh, that can't, you can't, technically that's true. Now I've defended Arkham Origins. I have defended that game and saying that I enjoyed the game. I definitely think it's as a absolutely gr a good origin for the Arkhamverse of the uh, of this series. However, was it wasn't made by Rocksteady? Made by Warner Bros. Montreal. None of Rocksteady's games ever had game breaking bugs. Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, to my knowledge, never had game breaking bugs. They polished those games to, with a fine tooth comb. Well, Warner Bros. Montreal just fucking tossed it, tossed Arkham Origins out, complete with bugs. I think that is the one of the worst thing a game developer can ever do. Not fix their games. If your game is broken, you fix it. No if, no what, no buts about it. But I will give them this at least. At least they had the balls to come out and say, yeah, we ain't fucking fixing it, you have to just deal with it. So you're just saying that people who cannot complete your game, the game that they paid their hard earned money for, have basically just to, in lack of a better words, deal with it? And you will not address these game breaking bugs in any future patches until you finish with the DLC? Which, by the way, most people would only buy your DLC after completing the game. And your last DLC, um, Initiation, which was uh, you advertised as a story DLC, is nothing but a bunch of fucking half-assed challenge maps. And I bought it, by the way. It's fucking, don't back it up. Don't fucking touch it. Initiation is a piece of shit. Now, the next DLC, from what we've got, people are, are speculating, is to deal with Mr. Freeze's origins. Mr. Freeze is one of the best characters of the Batman Arkham Origin, Batman the animated series TV series. If you've never seen A Heart of Ice, highly recommend it. I'm very interested to see how they, how they use this because Mr. Freeze is a fantastic character. But I'm going to be honest, from this pet press release on their forums, I'm saying this right now. I would not blame anyone for blacklisting the DLC and not playing it because I'm very, very close to doing this. In fact, I'm very tempted to say it right now because this, what they've just stated, is insulting and is uh, in some ways against the law. Developers fix their games if they have game breaking bugs. And it's not like it's a game breaking bug they know about. Fans and people who have bought their game know and have told them the bugs. And they ain't gonna fucking fix it. Warner Bros. Montreal, for lack of better words, go fuck yourselves. You do not do this. You have to show integrity and fix this. Patch the game and fix it. 
Now, I know that that's tricky. Troubleshooting and bug fixing ain't easy. But you have a legal obligation to your customers, the people who bought your game, to fix this. And in all honesty, why, I'm going to say this right now, the only thing that's stopping me from blacklisting the DLCs from now on is I'm very interested to see what they do with Arkham. I'm very interested to see what they're going to do with Mr. Freeze. But I'm going to say this right now, I am not playing, I'm not doing a playthrough of it. I am not LPing it. I refuse to. Because they'll probably copyright me. But I would not blame anyone for not picking up the DLCs for this. And I would not blame anyone for going trading in their copy of Batman Arkham Origins right fucking now. Because what Warner Brothers Montreal have done is insulting, in some ways illegal, and downright disrespectful to the Arkham license. I don't want them to ever make another Arkham game. Rocksteady, if you're watching this, please keep it in-house. Keep the Arkhamverse in-house. You just make those games. Keep the Arkhamverse in-house. You just make those games. Do not let anyone else make them. Because Warner Bros. just Montreal just proved that you are the only ones that respect the license enough to at least fix it. And that's what I'm going to say on that. I'm ending that, this segment right now. Fuck you, Warner Bros. Montreal. You're nothing but fuckers. Right, I think that's about that. Right, let's do the whole outro. Thank you everyone for watching the Warriors Geeky News for the 14th of February 2014. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found the story, hope you go and check out the stories. Always, as, as always, linked in the description down below. Go and check out all of them and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below of the or any topic you want. Whether it be Final Fantasy, the Arkham Origins bullshit, or Kingdom Come Deliverance. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Or do a video, nah, just stick to the video, just stick to comments down below. And if you want, me, and next week, if you want me to talk about any particular stories that come out throughout next week, all you have to do is either link, send me a pre private message on YouTube, tweet me, tweet me at scottishw92, go on my Facebook page, it's always linked in the description, or send me an email at scottishw92 at gmail with the subheading Warriors Geeky News. And I will look at every story that is sent to me, and I will pick three new stories to cover next week. Thank you all for watching. As always, I'm Scottish Warren Nato, and I'm going to sneeze, so I need to end this quickly, and I'll see you all later. Ciao for now. Mwah.